Cinquante. And now coming from your right, with compliments from Airbus, this is the first public outing of the A350. It already has a nickname, the Hushliner. Et il a déjà un surnom, le Hushliner, l'Airbus A350. This is it. You can say, I was there. <laughs> this was the first time an A350 was displayed in public. This is only its third flight. C'est la première fois qu'un A350 était présenté au public. Et c'était donc son troisième vol. Merci à Monsieur Magrin qui était aux commandes, à Monsieur Chandler. Et Behind me right now, this is aircraft number 18 that you can see, which will be the first aircraft for Finnair. Um, and it's at the stage right now where we've just joined up the wings, uh, we're installing the pylons, we'll be installing the landing gear as well. And then after that, we'll be finishing off the cabin interior, ready to flight test this aircraft later this year. Okay, in short, in short, what we do here is we actually assemble the, uh, the, the A350. Uh, it's the final assembly line, so it's the, it's the last stage in building the, the A350. So we'll actually be using uh, the fuselage sections which are flown down from France for the forward and centre section and the rear section from Germany. 
Uh, the wings will be flown down from the UK uh, using the Beluga and then we'll actually be assembling uh, all of these parts here. So it really is uh, very much, um, um, it's almost like uh, putting Lego together at the end of the, of the production phase. Koneiden tekeminen on siis sarjatuotantoa, mutta silti koneisiin voi tehdä paljon personointeja. Niinpä Finnairinkin koneista tulee Finnairin näköisiä. Suurimmat asiat tulee kabiiniin, eli ollaan saatu itse määrittää, mitä kabiiniin tulee. Esimerkiksi bisnesluokan tuolit, turistituolit ja tämä matkustamon viihdejärjestelmä, mitä sinne tulee. Se on se suurin paikka, missä eruttaudutaan lentoyhtiöiden kesken. Finnairin kannalta tietysti tässä on muutamia kiinnostavia kohtia tässä kor- Can you do pasta or kokema? We were ve- we were d- delighted with the flight test campaign. We've been uh, we learned a lot of lessons from the A380 campaign, of course, uh, and it meant that we could run this flight test campaign uh, in a in a much shorter time scale than we uh, we could have ever imagined. I think when we uh, when we went through the 380 program, primarily because the airplane came out uh, on time. Uh, all the, all the prototypes, all five prototypes, of which this is the fifth, uh, arrived with us within a week or two of the planned. Uh, arrival date. Uh, the aeroplane was very mature going into the test program and it meant that within 14 months we were able to run from first flight through to certification. And how does this bird fly? It's very nice. Um, my uh, Up until I flew this aeroplane I think my favorite was was the 330-200 or the 380. Uh, this actually flies in my view much more nice, even better than the 380. Yeah. So um, we've really moved on with our flight control systems. Uh, it's a lovely airplane to fly. The pilots will like it. The passengers will like it. It's very quiet, very comfortable. Going into the 350 design, we, we obviously went to these, this very large screen format where we've managed to couple the primary flight displays with the navigation displays. It, give us, it gives us a lot more, uh, many more options in terms of reconfiguration. Um, we've got a very large Um, screen that we can use for our electronic flight bag to call up maps and charts. Um, large windows, great visibility compared with what we had in the past. I think Beth, this is probably this and the 380 are the two, uh, two aer- uh, aeroplanes that have the best visibility from the uh, from the cockpit. The line pilots seem to like the design. Uh, we'll see how uh, how they. They, they feed, feed us back information once it's in service now, uh, of course with Qatar and soon to be uh, uh, with Finnair. Um.